The first has to figure out whether something is relevant. So basically that means it's going to help us make an informed or good decision is the materiality test. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, it means that is the particular piece of information sufficiently big or important enough that if we excluded it, we'd make a less than optimal decision. So what is big enough or material enough or important enough? Like, is there a dollar amount? Well, it all depends. It's all about context. So let's take an example. Example number one, a business prepared its financial reports, but then discovered it had not included a $10 stapler. Should it go back and redo those reports or can we leave that stapler out? Is it relevant? I guess is what we're asking. Let's look at two different businesses. Business A is Apple, multi-billion dollar company. And let's look at business B. Let's say a little florist business in your, in your suburb or town, just a little florist business, not a big business at all. All right, is that relevant? No, this is not relevant to the decision-making of Apple. We don't need to go back and redo our financial reports because this stapler was missing. We're not gonna make any better or worse decisions because of that. Business B, same thing. Look, it's not gonna, you know, it should it have been included in the reports? Absolutely, but we're just saying because it wasn't, we can still make informed decisions about this business without considering this piece of financial information about the stapler. So it's not relevant. Let's change it. Same example, but we'll change the asset and the size of it. Instead of a $10 stapler, we've got a $5,000 printer. We forgot to put it in our reports. Should we go back and redo the reports? Business A is Apple. We're gonna say that's not relevant. Should it have been included in the reports? Absolutely, but it wasn't. So is that a big deal? Are we gonna make a worse decision about the future of Apple now because this print is not in there? No, that's not material enough to affect decision-making. Business B, we could argue that that is relevant though. Why? Well, it's not a big business. It's probably only got tens of thousands of dollars of assets. And this fancy printer for $5,000 probably represents a significant portion of its assets. We need to make good decisions. We've got to have this financial, uh, this bit of financial information included in our reports in order for us to make good decisions. So that is relevant to business B. What about this one? Businesses do this all the time. They take cents in the financial reports and they get rid of them and they round up to the nearest dollar. So let's look at this. Let's say the balance sheet for Apple has cash of this, printers of that, inventory of that, and we get rid of the cents and we just round up. So cash becomes this, printers becomes this, etc. You know, can we do that? Or should we go back and put the cents back in? No, we're fine. We can leave this because the cents aren't relevant. You're not going to make a better or worse decision about the future of Apple if you had this information versus that information. And in fact, let's extend the example. And let's say not only get rid of the cents, why don't we remove the hundreds of thousands from reports by rounding up to the nearest hundreds of thousands. Big businesses do this all the time. If you jump on the ASX website, you can go and get this for any Australian business that's on the share market. There's no cents in there. There's no tens of dollars. There's no hundreds of dollars. Sometimes there's not even thousands of dollars. So what we're gonna do is get rid of like all this info. In fact, it probably, you know, it probably makes decision making worse because it just looks so complicated. We're going to get rid of that and we're just going to express it in millions. So instead of this, we're going to write 54.7 million, 29.2 million, etc. So if you do jump on and have a look at real financial reports, businesses do this all the time. So we're going to say, look, this info here, look, it is good to have detail. I'm not saying it's not, but is it going to affect your decision making if you have this info? Are you going to make a worse decision with this than you would with this? No. This data in pink is not really relevant to the future decision making. So we're fine to round up in this case for Apple to the nearest hundreds of thousands or millions. That's fine. Last example, uh, rather than list every single printer it owns in its balance sheet, Apple decided to just list one overall total for printers. Should it go back and redo the reports? What are we talking about? We're saying, let's say you add up in Apple's head offices throughout all the world, all the printers. So we've got a HP 1080 valued at this, HP 2100 and an Epson, and so on. And that's just what, six. There'd be, what, a million printers in Apple's offices throughout the world. Should we list them all separately in the balance sheet? Or could we just list under current assets one item called printers and put the overall amount? Well, I think that's okay. I don't think this information here is relevant, all right? To make a good decision about Apple, um, this probably having every single printer would actually probably confuse you. It's too much information. This information here is not relevant. I just need to know how many printers Apple has, and that will help me make a good decision. So to summarize, what's materiality about? It's all about is a bit of information big enough or important enough that if we excluded it, we'd make a less than optimal decision. And most times, yeah, if we excluded the fact that Apple owns an Epson 3.4 printer for this amount here, we're not gonna make a worse decision. 
we're going to still make a really good decision because we've got the overall total. So two things, it's all about the amount, but there's no dollar figure. You can't say this dollar figure is what makes something material or not. It's all about the context. Is the business Apple, big multinational with billions of dollars of assets, or is it a local florist business with only a few hundred thousands of dollars of assets, or maybe only tens of thousands of dollars? And that's the difference. So it's all about context and comparing it to the size of the business and the overall impact on the decision making.